Hey guys, how you doing? This is Philip Cooper with TRC365. Uh, today we're going to be diving into a topic that many of us strongly just have no interest in, uh, which I completely understand, especially as a homeowner as well as a everyday customer. Uh, and that topic is warranties. Okay, I know as I say it, it's like watching paint dry. However, as you're probably might be a homeowner, maybe an investor, this is really a critical part of your investment, especially if you're trying to live in that community or maybe just build value in your house. Uh, according to the NAHB, National Association of Home Builders, the average person actually lives in their home for 13 years. All right, that's a long time. We're talking about a decade, All right? Today's average building product will last 20 to 50 years. So whatever you're deciding to install on your house, uh, whether it's a new roof, maybe it's new siding, it's gonna be critical that you select one that is gonna be durable and that has a warranty in that window. Uh, if it does not exist in that 20 to 50 year window, you might be looking at a subpar product compared to today's current building products, all right? Uh, and the reason we really want to speak about warranties is because many of us don't read the fine print. A lot of us just have no interest in them or we're just exhausted of every time we try to purchase something, they're trying to upsell us into extending to a one to three year warranty. Uh, the other day at the supermarket, actually I, ha I had an offer to, I think it was just a quick charger I needed for my phone. They wanted to extend to a three year warranty. You know, and it's it's just astonishing to me these little things even have warranties. But a lot of it is the manufacturer realize it's another avenue for revenue uh, as well as protection for you. However, when I speak of your home, whether you're an investor or you're a, a property, uh, just rental agency, this is really key. So the top three areas I really want you to focus on in today's conversation uh, is discovery. So let's discover what our intentions and goals are with our house and our priorities. So is it getting new siding? Is it getting a new window? Is it a new roofing system? Understand what we need. So is the discovery. Uh, the second thing is the workmanship warranty. Uh, this is different than the product warranty. Okay. This is a warranty or a legal document of that service provider stating that you know he'll honor up to five years if any issues arises and he's at fault all right that third thing is the product warranty itself okay uh, there's a lot of ways you can help yourself before you even have to make a warranty claim uh, it's not common however throughout the test of time they have to include these okay uh, the areas I think it's important for is specifically home appliances, such as your dishwasher, your washer, your dryer, as well as your, your refrigerator. Because, you know, if you're living in your house 13 years, you want to make sure those appliances are going to last, you know, seven plus years for you as well. All right. It's a little different with service industry. However, the benefit is there's two. You have your service warranty you have your product warranty uh, to benefit you, okay? So after we discover what we need, as well as our goals, you know, if I'm living in a home for maybe one more year, you know, I don't need to purchase the best roofing system with, you know, the 35 year warranty, right? That's not gonna bring you value. It might take more money out of your pocket than you're ready for, where you can reinvest that money into maybe painting and presenting it at closing or things like that, okay? So understand your goals with your property. Workmanship warranty, why is it important? Because whoever you're gonna give money to and sign a contract with, you wanna be ensured that they are a respectable firm, you know, their word has value and that you know, they're gonna call back or at least make the effort in getting back out there when disaster arises, okay? 
Sometimes disaster is not why they're getting called. Maybe you just notice one drop on your ceiling and you want to head out there. But by having that workmanship warranty, you're allowing yourself protection throughout a period of time uh, to ensure that, hey, the item that I purchased is installed right, that I'm comfortable if something happens, I can call them, they'll get out here and assess it. Uh, you know, maybe it is product defect, maybe it's due to a lack of insulation or another variable that we're just not aware of, okay? They'll, you're almost getting a free get out of free jail card for five plus years, um, giving them a call. Uh, as well, and what I would say is while you're in that discovery stage, let's discover one local contractor to you. Uh, let's include them in uh, the one out of three. So whether you had a door knocker, go to your door, let a problem come to light so you're aware of it, let's call the local guy. Okay, let's see what they have to offer in terms of price because that's probably going to be the average or the mean of the area as well as what's their workmanship warranty because the local guy probably has a storefront they have overhead they're established in the community so they're going to be really the standard on what you should see from a workmanship aspect okay that's really critical for you as well and the thing i think it's really important is because when you're doing this apples to apples review you know if price is going to be your biggest denominator you're going to be it's you're going to be in for a long haul okay because generally the one with the, the least amount is probably not going to be there on a callback uh, or their company might be out of business uh, by the time a call pack's actually ready uh, for instance in the roofing industry the average roofer lasts three years okay so within three years that small business or that guy that just started a roofing company got the truck he's gonna be out of business in three years so it's very critical to pick the three that you want as I say pick a staple such as your local guy include that door knocker if you want all right if he brought the attention to the concern without you even being aware of maybe it's a storm restoration company include them in that all right just don't sign a document don't lock yourself in to a company that might be based out of Texas they're going door to door and then after they hit every house or they just the storm ends they go back to Texas so who are you gonna call when you have a call back in a year are they gonna be in Texas or are they gonna be in your local community because I can assure you if they're storm chasers they're probably gonna stay in the next community with the hailstorm so be cautious do your diligence as I say when you go to discovery let's lay out our workmanship warranty our product warranty as well as responsibilities after the job all right let's just break it up look at all three of these a little different now when it comes to the product warranty as I mentioned a lot of these are 20 year to 50 year products uh, you'll see a depreciative total uh, as they prorate over that time in many cases um, so these are questions you should ask your contractor uh, or even you know if there's a product you really like I would even advocate go online go on their website and research that product okay that might give you more value in the discovery process because you know hey I'm selling this house in 10 years this products full warranty stops at 10 and it's transferable okay it's easy to get lost in the fine print I'll be the first to tell you that uh, but it's important to read that fine print it's there for a reason okay workmanship pol warranties are gonna have the same thing uh, because they need to be there right especially as a contractor I've been on roofs we've done a year and a half ago I get back out there there's you'll have a flat white roof TPO and there'll be a three foot by three foot section of black TPO because they either had someone out there do a core cut, uh, maybe it, the local satellite guy was installing a dish. You, you don't know, there's a myriad of issues you might run into when you get back out to revisit a property. You know, maybe the homeowner thought it was neat to start putting solar panels on his roof. Well, it's gonna probably avoid that roofing product warranty as well as my workmanship warranty. So 
have some common sense. You know, it all starts with aligning yourself with someone that's going to be trustworthy uh, because generally you contract with that individual, but then you double check reviewing his outfit. So by outfit, I mean the organization as a whole. Okay. Uh, so just really have some common sense here. I mean, and I know warranties, it is dry. It's like watching paint dry, uh, but it is critical for the longevity of your home um, as well as making sure the dollars you spent went uh, to a proper place. Okay. The last thing is responsibility after install. Okay. Are you going to be an active homeowner with maintenance? And what I mean by that, just because it's a 25 year roof or 20 year warranted siding, are you going to stay on top of, you know, let's say we had a heavy rainfall, we had a strong wind. Are we going to check that roof? Are we going to look at it, review it? Maybe after things get blown around, are you going to clean out your gutters? Uh, because that's going to really help extend the life. You know, just because it has a warranty of so and so years doesn't mean it can't actually go past that warranty. If anything, now you're just adding value and saving money um, on that product. It's the same as a car. The best investment is generally an old vehicle uh, because after it depreciates, that's your true value. And now, you know, your insurance is a lot less. Uh, it's still running. You're just it's all about maintenance. It's all about oil, uh, transmission, things like that. Just staying on top of it and just riding that car out. And that's the same with any home product, whether it's your windows, your attic, uh, even your flooring. You know, we clean them and I, it's just like clothes. You know, do we want to cold wash this or do we want to dry clean it? Uh, because our choice there could really extend the product. And home products are very much the same. Generally, the issue you're going to see with siding is going to be fade. Okay, that's why they have different warranties for color uh, because UV rays are very destructive. Over a course of years, it's going to lighten up. Uh, there might be different fillers depending on the paint that might let it withstand uh, those UV rays a little more uh, than other products. So, as I say, ask yourself, hey, what is the workmanship warranty? What's included, what's excluded? What is the product warranty? Are there any extensions that are available? And then the third thing is maintenance. Is there anything I should do or be aware of after you guys are done? All right, three things you should do, discuss at a table or in the discovery process with that contractor. Uh, this isn't something that, hey, at the end of the, the checkout line they're gonna bring up, because I assure you, They'll probably have a good, better, best system. Uh, personally, when we talk roofing systems, my favorite is the GAF Golden Pledge Warranty System. I'm biased, that's the one I have on my own house. Uh, but what it is, it's a 25 year workmanship warranty through the manufacturer. All right, what does that mean to you? It means for a 25 year period, if something happens on this roof, it's gonna be backed by the manufacturer. The labor, the product, the demolition. Right. I also have a separate work warranty, so I'll probably call them first. Um, and the reason I could give these warranties is because after TRC Roofing puts it up, GAF comes out, they'll, they'll walk the roof, they'll review if it was installed per code or per spec. If it meets their criteria, they'll put that Golden Pledge stamp on it. So there's a lot of different systems out there. But really, let's pick out the right company that's a, a right fit for us, and then let's understand what that warranty means. So I appreciate it, guys. I understand today was dry. Uh, no one likes warranties. I don't like warranties. Uh, but there is a right place and time to discuss them and at least be aware of the benefits of them. So thanks again. Phil Cooper at TRC365. If you have questions or issues you want to talk about, Send it to philipgcooper at gmail.com or look on our website, trc-inc.com. Thanks a lot.